Hello everybody, I'm Chris Agrell, Principal of Christ the King School, and I'm here with... Amy Becker, the Assistant Principal at Christ the King School. And we're always happy to be here with you. Our next topic is about our parent volunteers, yep. and I'm going to have Mrs. Becker kind of come lead off and talk about that a little bit. First, uh, if you're a parent volunteer, you're on my favorite people list, so thank you so much for um, what you've done for our school. You're making this possible, so we really appreciate it. Second, I say this a lot, if you haven't volunteered, man, elementary lunchtime is comic gold. You will leave here smiling, I promise you. Um, so sign up, it is a hoot. Um, and the kids love it. Uh, when I walk into cover, they go, oh, are you our person? So they really love when parents come in. Um, so that's, you know, just try it out, it really is fun. I have a new sign up genius. If you've been on already, you've noticed we were able to cut down from 21 to 14 volunteers needed every day. Um, by doing that, we've lessened our, the burden on our parents, but we have also defined the areas very specifically where we need volunteers. And because of that, it means that some grade levels or classroom sections right now don't need a parent volunteer. That means when you sign up for the K through two slot, you may not be placed in 1A because they don't need a volunteer. Um, and if your child's in 1A, that can be a bummer. Let me stress to you how badly we need you, even if you're not with your child. So we really hope that you'll continue to sign up, but understand when you come in that Mrs. Andrews might assign you um, into a classroom that's not with your child and it's because that's where we need the volunteer um, in our new schedule. At semester, we're gonna switch kids so that the kids that are eating in their room are gonna move to the cafeteria and vice versa. That will change where our volunteers um, are needed. And so maybe 1A uh, is where your child is and you're volunteering and you don't get to be with them, but in January, 1A will need a volunteer um, for the rest of the semester. So um, please keep signing up. Um, it really helps us get through our school days. It is imperative. We, you know, we really can't do it without you. Um, and our children love it. And I think um, that if you talk to a parent volunteer, you'll find that they love it too. Uh, so check out the Sign Up Genius. Uh, list is coming out today of what's still open for next week. Um, it's easy to sign up and we would love to have you. All right, well thank you Mrs. Becker. And, and one of the things I just wanna kind of point out we're really, really careful with how we structure our lunches and divide our kids. And not every school is doing right. quite what we're doing. Uh, we're doing it because it splits them up into smaller groups. It allows us to space them apart even more than like the minimum requirement. Right. And we feel that it really keeps them safe. And a lot of the schools are running into problems because their kids are a little too close together. So when there is some kind of issue that comes up with a child with COVID, they have an exposure and we are safeguarding against that. So you guys as parents are making that possible. So Absolutely. thank you. I just want to say thank you yeah. for all that. Just uh, Mrs. Becker did a great job thanking you, but I can't thank you enough either. So thanks very much, parent volunteers. And this concludes yeah. this particular topic video. And uh, be safe, be vigilant. Uh, please minimize risk whenever possible. Keep volunteering and God bless. Bye-bye now. Thank you.